maps and then uh, then the view uh, the view interface which she told us about and the afternoon session i'm sorry i was not uh, i was not being able to connect to the afternoon session so well because of some network issues however yes i could get some gist uh, about Dr. Rizal telling us about so many uh, about uh, that uh, that in, uh, that app, which is known as like the Lumi app. So yes, we really had a fun-filled day yesterday, and uh, you know, like how we could relate to how our learners also feel when we actually have a very uh, uh, very nice, friendly environment, very interactive sessions. Yes, we are we are really enjoying this, and I'm looking forward to more learning in the next four days. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. I think uh, what really makes a participant a great learner is the fact that even if you were active in the morning session, uh, you could actually gather the gist of the second half as well. I think yes. that kind of shows how engaged you are, how eager you are to learn, to grasp, to know more, to equip yourself more. I think that calls for a huge round of applause for you Thank as you well, so ma'am for uh, taking up this briefing, uh, I mean, taking up this opportunity of giving a brief overview of the sessions yesterday so confidently, so nicely. And I think our participants have now uh, received a great recap, like, uh, I mean, just refreshing their memory and getting a recap and gearing up for the next sessions that are lined up. So thank you very much, Nandita, ma'am. Thank, so. thank and, you so much. Uh, I hope you all have a great learning experience with the sessions that we have for you. Yes, so yes. on that note, now that we have prepared ourselves as to what we have been learning so far, I think it is time now for our next sessions as, as my colleague Nidhi Adlakha mentioned that we are going to learn about audio resources. And some of you actually, I was uh, listening to the responses from all that yes, audio resources are important. And as Ms. Nidhi has already set the ground where she stated that you are going to thoroughly enjoy uh, this session on audio resources and mark my words, it is actually going to be a gala time. You're going to have a melodious journey in the next two hours. So before starting with the next session, I would just like to see if uh, Horo sir is there. Ajit Horo sir, are you there? Okay, great, great. So sir is here. And without further ado, I'll just give a quick introduction to Sir, and then he will take up the session from here on. So dear participants, so far we have been learning about digital resources, instructional designing, storyboarding, creating interactives, etc. Today we will be learning about how audio resources play an important role in captivating our learners. And when I use the word captivating, as soon as Sir unmutes himself and starts speaking, you will see how even Sir's voice is captivating enough for the session that we have for you. This session will take you on a lyrical and melodious journey anchored by our audio production team at CIET NCRT. And I would now like to invite Vandana Ma'am, Ajit Horo Sir, and Vimlesh Ma'am for providing us a demo on audio resources, concept, purpose, types, and development process. So over to you, sir and team, for the session. Uh, good morning to all of you. I am Ajit Horo. Good morning. <clears throat> I'm Vimlesh Chaudhary. And we are so happy to be here, uh, having a togetherness with all of you. And uh, we also expect this session to be very enjoyable because it's not only, only going to be a session, but uh, moreover, I must say a radio show yes. as we belong to the audio. So uh, good morning to all of you. And uh, it's our, uh, uh, I must say, I, it was our cherished will to be in this session. And so now uh, from this, actually, we are going to start our session. and. Uh, let me express my thankfulness to all of you for uh, receiving this. And now we are, uh, uh, before I start, my dear friends, I mean, before I start, let me share with you a wonderful story. A wonderful story is there, and this story is uh, from Australia. 
All of you must have uh, heard about Mount Morgan. That is in the southernmost part of Australia. And Mount Morgan is, uh, uh, I must say, it is a mountainous range. Uh, as I read about Mount Morgan, uh, I read uh, I mean, certain things which I would like to share with you. And that is actually from the centuries ago, so many Aboriginal people, the tribal people, they lived on that mountain. And their main I mean, profession was the sheep harvesting as well as the agriculture. But the history tells that they, that they struggled with the poverty. Mm -hmm. They struggled with the illness. They struggled with the unfortunate life conditions just because of one thing, because they did not know what they had what they had in fact but uh, in due course in due course uh, the fact came that uh, mount morgan mount M mount morgan i mean this uh, mountain it has a great gold reservoir after having come to know that they are having the gold i mean gold reservoir just beneath their feet i must say that their entire life condition was changed entire life condition was changed because I mean, I must say that, I mean, poverty uh, was eliminated, sickness and disease were disappeared because they came to know that there is a gold mine. So I must say one thing, I mean, before we start with the session that uh, when we know what is beneath our feet, when we know that what do we have, when we know that what do we have, uh, I mean, in our surroundings, what do we have as the ICT tools? When we know this, my dear friends, I must tell you that we shall really prosper in doing the things. So thank you very much. And uh, now we are going to the main part of the session. And uh, one more story I, I would like to share with you. After that, we will go to the real content. Uh, it was the Wisconsin. It was the Wisconsin and it was the highway. And on, and on the highway, one person was there alone with his motor car. And he was waiting for someone to come in to help. So many people came, so many people came, but no one could help him anymore. Uh, he was there in the highway and uh, his car was stopped. Mechanical failure, it may be. I do not know what had happened, but he was waiting and he was really, uh, I must say, he was really perplexed. What will happen? Because it was the eventide. Uh, the evening was falling and he was really very, I must say, he was really very much worried. What will happen? I am standing here alone, along with my car, and the car is mechanically failed. All of a sudden, uh, one person came and he was an old man. And he came and he said, and he asked him, what has happened? And to some extent, he was irritated. So many people came, so many people came and asked. And I explained to everyone almost that uh, I, am, I, am unable to, I am unable to start my car. That old person smiled and he said that, shall I try at least for once? Shall I try? Uh, reluctantly, he said, okay, you may try. Uh, fine. Uh, so many people came, sir. Mechanical engineers came. Uh, so many motorists came. So many people came. And uh, no doubt that their intention was very good. But uh, no one could help. Who are you that uh, with such a great, uh, I mean, confidence you are saying that, let me try. Okay, go and try. So he said that, okay, and uh, he lifted up the bonnet and uh, immediately he simply said one, two, three. And within the fraction of second, he said that now start the car. And when he gave the ignition, the car started. And he was shocked with the surprise. So many people came to me. So many people tried to help me. So many people came and they really, uh, they really offered their help, but no, no one could do anything. Who are you, sir? That within the fraction of a second, you made it possible. The, the car is, the engine has started. And uh, who are you? I would like to have your visiting card. I would like to have your introduction uh, so that I can come to you someday to say you thank you very much. Then he smiled and he said, and this is the last portion of the story. Then he, smiled, then he smiled and he said that uh, my name is Henry Ford and I am the designer of this car. I am the one who has designed this car. Therefore, I know where is the fault in fact, where is the fault? And that's why I was able to, I was able to rectify this mechanical failure. So my dear friends, all of you are the teachers and uh, we are so happy to be with you. And I would like to say that uh, in the highway of the life, so many students, so many, uh, I must say, so many people are standing helpless like that person. And if you are a teacher, you must have that solution and you must have in a situation to say, I am, I am the designer of this student and let so many people come to you and one day they will remember you. 
one day they are going to remember you with a thankfulness that I had a wonderful teacher in my life. When I was depressed, when I was frustrated, when I was hopeless, when I was left without any hope, on that time, my teacher appeared. My teacher said, I am there. And he was the one who really helped me. So all the best. So now we are going to, now we are going to have the session and now we are going to, now we are going to have the content. So thank you very much. And at the same time, I must say that uh, I kindly try as much as uh, you can to focus on the audio content we are going to do. So we are going to have now uh, our slide. And uh, right. Just wait. Right. Slide three. Right. Just wait, just wait. So we have to come to so welcome to all of you in this session, and now we are going to have a deep seated discussion on the on, on audio content. So Number one, I would like to ask Vimlesh right now that what do you mean by e-content? What is e-content? I hope that all of you must be knowing, but yet we are going to have a recap yeah. on what is e-content. Uh, so we can say e-content means uh, electronic content mm -hmm. or uh, it uh, can also be called as digital content also. Right. So what we are making through uh, electronic medium or we are producing through electronic medium or disseminated through electronic medium that right. is e-content or uh, we can say uh, it can be an audio also e-content it can be audio video it can be an animation also so any uh, form of uh, content which are uh, producing or disseminating through electronic medium and that is e-content so that is e-content and now we are moving to the next slide and uh... This slide raises a question to all of us. And the question is, is radio unpopular? Because we are going to have a discussion on, we are going to have this session on raising the e-resources and mainly for audio. So now the question is that is radio unpopular? What do you think about it? Now uh, we will go to, uh, what do you think about mm -hmm. it? Uh, I do not think so. It is unpopular. This is uh, uh, when the television arrived in India, it was thought that radio is going to unpopular. Yeah. For some time, it was true also. Radio, but uh, radio has ma made it its important. I think on that time when the, I mean, uh, when this television came, came so many yes. people uh, thought yes. on that time mm -hmm. that uh, radio has lost its yes. own time, you know? Yes, huh. it is going to unpopular. Yes, yes. But uh, in the morning itself, uh, what we will do, we, we have to do, we, we will start our radio in the car mm -hmm. first uh, we are doing uh, radio radio playing. All right, right. Uh, one comment has come that I think radio is not unpopular. That's yes. you're right, sir. You're mm -hmm. right. So we can continue with this. Yes. Of course, sometimes it was also true. Radio has made its important place in course of time. Mm -hmm. uh, as we can see uh, in the slide also. Huh? So, yes, we can go to the slide right now. And we can see that, uh, let us go to the findings of some of the findings, the next slide. Uh, when we look at the findings of the research, the research findings, they do say something else. And here we see these are the samples taken from the Mid-India. Yes. And from Mid-India, it says that you can see right now on the slide that uh, weekly percentage of the listeners 
of the FM radio in mainly the mid India cities, uh, it is 44 percent. But when you go to the regular listeners, it comes to 50 percent. We all can see here uh, on the slide, and it is it is 50 percent. They are the daily listeners, and the people do say that uh, most of the people, mainly in uh, I mean cosmopolitan cities, or also, yes. also in the metropolitan, you know, also in the metropolitan, uh, 73 percent of the total population they shape their public opinion by listening to the radio, radio only, even yes. it is yeah. and it is even the radio that shapes even i must say the market the market right, right. so radio is not unpopular at all yes that is what the finding is right now mm -hmm. and uh, about the radio there are so many things like in the beginning you have very rightly said that when it uh, with the arrival of the television yes uh, people used to think that the era or the age of the radio has gone gone yes. but it is not there like that so uh, radio is not unpopular at all. We are going to the next slide now. And uh, uh, it is going to tell something very interesting to all of us. Here we can see. And uh, it talks about the strengths of the radio. The strength of the radio. So what do you think uh, are the real strengths of the radio? What uh, are the strengths? So, uh, so first of all, we can say this is more economic. More economic. Uh, radio is more economic. Why do you say so? Because this is less costly in mm -hmm. comparison to other medium of communication. Yeah. So we can say radio is uh, more economic and uh, radio can be listened on phone also. Huh. So even economically weaker section can afford it. Hmm. So we can say it is more economic. More economic. And uh, with this, this is also easily movable also. Hmm. Radio can be moved anywhere easily. If we are listening on uh, phone also, so we can take our phone with us. So radio can go with you anywhere or everywhere yeah that is there so radio is available for for you everywhere or anywhere mm -hmm. or uh, if we talk about the strength of radio it's allow us multitasking also why do you say so it allows the multitasking mm -hmm. for listening we do not have sit on the one place mm -hmm. so while listening to the radio we can do other tasks also Such like as? Uh, we can do our kitchen work we can do study. We can do gardening. Gardening also. We can do work. So at the time of listening radio, we can do multitasking. So it allows, uh, my dear friends, the multitasking. Also. Like yes. uh, when we talk about the television or uh, something which is visual, it yes. captivates us. We are captivated right. and maybe we are bound to sit in a place, at a, a place, place. Yes. Uh, so that we can uh, view the program. Oh. But uh, about the radio, we can say that it allows the multitasking. Oh While listening to the radio. Oh. Yes. Is there anyone saying anything? Huh. So it allows the multitasking, like while listening to the radio, you can do so many works together yes. that can be done. And now we come to the next point, and that is a wider reach in tough geographical conditions. Yes. Tough geographical, uh, I mean, geographical condition means the mountainous area, the, I mean, terrain, and uh, I mean, such areas which are very difficult to reach, but only these are the radio waves which are very, which can very easily penetrate to the geography, uh, to such areas which are, I mean, geographically very, I must say, very tough on yes. that, on that area also we can reach. So uh, radio can penetrate to the difficult geographical conditions also, like the mountainous areas, like such areas in which, uh, uh, I mean, population is very less. Or in such areas where, I mean, I can say that the TV towers are not there. Mm. Maybe uh, after that, the time will come when the satellite will come. Yes. That is something else. But right now, the ground reality is that that in tough geog geographical conditions, it is radio only that really reaches to, uh, I must say, the far flung areas. We can say every nook and corner of the country. Every nook and mm. corner of the country, every yes. far and flung area of the country. So radio makes it possible to have a reach. Number three, we see here that more effective in natural calamities. Right. Like uh, I remember the, I mean, cyclone in, uh, I mean, Sri Lanka and uh, one more cyclone there in, uh, I mean, South India, in Andhra maybe. And on, and on that time, this uh, cyclone was so devastating. A great, I mean, disaster was there. And after that condition, so many people were, were lost. Some were rescued, but about some of the people, no one really knew. On that time, radio really helped yes. very greatly. And... Uh, can you imagine of a person who is rescued and waiting for his dear one to listen to some message and the radio, the good news comes on the radio and people say that uh, it's just so and so. so listening to our, our program, we would like to inform you, your dear ones are safe. So that is there. So it's a wonderful medium. 
at the same time radio allows uh, us to uh, more do more imagination yes, yes. Uh, as we all know uh, it allow us more imagination as radio is an active medium and uh, we can say tv is passive medium what we are watching in the tv same impression will uh, come to all the viewers for example if we see red roses on the tv so we will uh, we will see uh, tv every viewer will see it is red but in radio he or she has more scope to imagination like if we uh, if we are listening uh, about the flower about the rose it can be any color it depends on thoughts only so radio grants us more liberty to think at the same time one more very important concern that is the no screen time screen time means uh, like uh, you all must have uh, experienced during the pandemic period during the pandemic period most of the teaching learning processes yes uh were depended mainly on mm -hmm. the screen like on the mobile at the same time maybe on the laptop and uh, it was reported by the ophthalmists later on that the children who continued to have their studies on uh, the screen only they had uh, many problems with the eyes matlab uh, they were had uh, they had i mean certain certain complication i must say so radio allows us to have no screen time at all yes you simply listen to the program and uh, then you can enjoy the program so it also uh, gives you i must say a very easy situation to, to your eyes so no screen time that is also one of the uh, i mean strengths of the radio now we are coming to uh, immediately after this we will go to the main content how to raise the audio content but these are very important for all to you for all of us uh, to be um, to be informed so these are the types of the broadcasting number one is the terrestrial broadcasting you can as you can see uh, on the left top that uh, we can see uh, an antenna that is the broadcasting antenna and if you go to any akashvani station you can see this antenna so this is called the terrestrial broadcasting okay. actually this uh, it depends on the it depends on the antenna it depends on the i mean transmitters basically it is the transmitter so it is the terrestrial broadcasting right now we have we have uh, cit has uh, broadcasting from air Yeah, 132 stations of AIR, and uh, we are broadcasting through 255 community radio stations, and uh, we have 11 Gyanwani stations. So we are broadcasting through uh, our content through uh, we can say around 400 channels. Hmm. So this is uh, this is going to the reach uh, wider reach. So it is uh, called uh, terrestrial broadcasting. Uh, it is a terrestrial broadcasting, and at the same time, you can see here that it is the internet broad broadcasting also. Yes. Internet broadcasting, and uh, uh, by doing the internet broadcasting, uh, we have the global reach. Global. Reach. Uh, we can reach to any part of the world. Just they have to listen to the program on on internet. Yes. So these are uh, these are mainly two kinds of the broadcasting. One is the terrestrial, terrestrial and second and is the internet. Huh. So now internet radio has has become very popular. Has it has become very popular. So these are two kinds of broadcasting and uh, one more kind of broadcasting that is the app based broadcasting. So we are not going to discuss on this. Now we are going to the main content. Okay. Hmm. Uh, before we go to uh, what are the formats of the radio program, uh, as you can see at the top of the screen, that it is a, a must-ask question. It is a must-ask question. Actually, question number one: What is broadcasting? What is broadcasting? So, as you can see here, that what is broadcasting means broad plus casting. <laughs> broad plus casting. Uh, this word has come. by joining two words together broad plus casting so what do you mean by this what do you mean by this it means that if you put your electronic magnetic signal in a very vast geographical area like if i am speaking from london yes. or if i am speaking from delhi and if the program is being heard to the middle east if the program is being heard to some other areas very far flung areas then it is the broadcasting so it means broad means wide and cast means to put so when electronic magnetic signals are cast on vast geographical areas covering overseas distances or a vast landmass it is broadcast uh, would you like to say anything about the broadcast in simple in simple language broadcast covers a vast distance of landmass right so uh, it is mainly used for the international news cultural propaganda and also exposure of a particular country to some other nation. nations uh, so that is mainly broadcast and like i can uh, 
I can say it like this, that friends, I am uh, Ajit Horo. I am speaking from London right now. And uh, we have a wonderful program. Thank you for listening to us. And I thank you so much for you continue to listen to us. And my dear friends, you do also encourage us so much. And I can see right now that so many letters and the emails are pouring in. And uh, thank you very much. Right now, we are going to present a wonderful recital to you. And this recital is by the Ludwig von Beethoven. And I hope that you are listening to this program. And I'm speaking from London right now, or I'm speaking from Delhi right now, but I'm so happy that our programs are being heard to the far flung areas of not only our country, but to also overseas. So thank you very much. This is what the broadcasting is. Yes. So this is broadcasting. We are going to the next. This is called the narrow cast. Hmm. What do you mean by narrow cast? Uh, when we are uh, putting our signals, radio signals on a narrow area that is belongs to a, 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 a community, hmm. a, a narrow cast. It is a, a belongs to a specific area, hmm. and uh, it depends on the distance also. Like it can go up to eight to ten kilometers. Uh, so when we are maximum fifteen. Uh, maximum 15 years yes. when we are putting our signals to a narrow narrow uh, area that is narrow casting ha so we can say that uh, narrow casting has become nowadays very popular why it is so because uh, uh, in broadcasting we do not know that uh, uh, that vast area we do not yes. know about the demography, demography of, yes. of that area so maybe on that vast area so many communities so many people so many languages so many cultural experiences hmm. so many food habits and so many things are there so hmm. at one with one broadcast, we cannot address to every problem. Yes. But when we go to the narrow cast, that means we literally, what we do, we, we literally do one thing that we focus to one particular community because yes. the radius of the broadcasting is uh, within the 15 kilometers. Yes. So within the 15, I mean 15 kilometers, we can hope that uh, within that uh, radius, uh, it is most possible that people speaking of one language yes. or having one kind of culture are there. So we can address to their problems easily. So nowadays, uh, community radio concept has become very popular. Hmm. At we the same time, say, the... At the time, same time, we can say FM radio is also a narrow casting. Yes, yes. So we can deal with a specific problem with uh, of specific target group. Uh, here we can see that the a wide spectrum of the radio program, popular formats of spoken words, uh, can be the talk, quiz, interview, works properly, and. Uh, and at the same time, we can see here that the popular formats of the spoken and musical. These are various formats of the radio program. So now we are coming to our main content. Uh, the next slide, yes. Now we are going to talk about the formats of the radio program. Uh, format means the style. Style. A particular style in which a program is produced. Hmm. That is called the format. Everything has a format. But when we talk about the formats of the radio program, it means there are different kinds of the designing. Yes. When you make, when we make a, uh, when we make a program, we must be at at first, we must be very much sure in which format we are to produce the program. We are making program. Huh. Or we are to produce the program, or we are to make the program. Yes. So, what is the format of radio program? On that, we are going right now. So, let us have a very small drama right now, and uh, we can say now. Like uh, I am talking to my colleague, and uh, she is a producer. And I'm going to ask her what she produces. I produce. Uh, uh, so what do you produce? You are the audio program producer. Yes. And uh, I heard some of some of your programs also. And the programs are really very good. No problem about that. But uh, what do you produce? In fact, what do you produce? Uh, I produce the uh, audio program. Audio program is okay. But uh, uh, what do you produce? Audio program is okay. Audio programs which, mm. means which I can listen to. Okay. Yes. So, but any other explanation? What do you produce? I produced a radio program. Uh, in the beginning, you said audio program. Yes. Hmm. Now you are saying? Radio program. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you produce in fact? Sir, I produced a audio program, sir. Achha, audio which program. Which we can listen, sir. Huh, which we can listen and hmm. also the radio program that can also be listened to. Hmm. But what is, uh, what is new in this? What do you produce? Sir, radio program, sir. Achha, radio program. Okay, okay. That means you are unaware of the format. Okay. Yes. Uh, if I ask what are the formats of the radio program, in fact, uh, 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 I wanted to know what kind of formats do you produce? What are the uh, specified formats in which you produce the program? So, shall we go to that? Yes. Sir. And uh, now we will come to know that what are the different uh, formats, uh, formats of, of the audio program. So, now we are coming to a very important format. And I mean, format number one. 
my dear friends all of you can note it that the first format of the radio program is the radio documentary yes uh, if someone says that i produce a radio program that is not sufficient right if someone says that we produce an audio program that is not sufficient but we must understand one thing very important that it is the international grammar yes internationally there are certain formats of the radio program yes. and format number 1 that is very popular format world over it is accepted world, world over it is hailed world over it is very well received and uh, the format is documentary we are coming to we are coming uh, we are coming to this format what do we call it radio documentary radio documentary so it is format number 1 what do you mean by radio documentary now we are going to that and how to understand the radio documentary okay so uh, the word documentary has derived from the word document hmm uh, from the document yes. okay hmm now documents doesn't mean only piece of paper ha, only piece of paper yes. uh, in fact the i mean common impression mm -hmm. is that that mm -hmm. only a it's piece a, of a paper piece of is paper, a yes. document like, no. like i have if uh, this i can say i have a document mm. but this is not only document yes. huh? mm. that is what you are saying this is not a document okay mm. a document uh, a documentary which is based on facts uh, as the name suggests it is a documentary it is based on authenticity and it is based on the fact what are the resources Risk, of a document huh, it can be a print ma material also okay print material for the documentary we can use audio and friends as uh, we can see here birth of india huh? birth of india's freedom uh, yes. it is uh, it is one of the i mean captions from times of india yes. which was published on 15th of august uh, 1947 when we attained our 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 freedom huh? so it is one of the document document it is yes. document yes it can be audio also It, it can, can be, be audio a, also. It can hmm. be a video. Can, audio means the audio yes. clip. Audio clip. Hmm. Audio yes. clip, right? It can be a uh, video clip also. Hmm. It can be a manuscript. Yeah, manuscript, hmm. of course. So And you are saying that hmm. manuscript is also a document. Document. Okay, yes. right? Hmm. Tablets is also a document. Huh? It can be inscriptions. We can use uh, letters also, hmm. old letters hmm. and diaries and hmm. photos. It is based on facts only. It is. It cannot be a fiction. So documentary. is based on facts only the documentary is based on the facts only and uh, now we are going to have a very uh, a short drama and this drama is going to explain to all of us very comprehensively that uh, what do we mean by documentary, documentary. in fact in fact so uh, as we have heard right now that uh, documentary means a program which is based only on facts. facts it never allows us to have an imaginary flight yes i liked it so i wrote it no it is not like this but it is basically documentary is something which is based on the fact so now uh, let us let's assume that uh, she is the head of my department i am the producer and i am uh, in my room and she is calling me and uh, let us listen to what she requests trin 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 hello hello yes aji sir is there ha uh, yes ma'am i am there please come into my room acha okay okay i have uh, to discuss something acha uh, i mean is there something very important yes yes please sir. okay okay i'm just coming i'm just coming in a short while okay wait for me please have a seat yes yes sir uh, you have to make a documentary <clears throat> i have to make a documentary yes. uh, what is the topic what is the subject uh, it uh, it is on jalia wala bag on jalia wala bag so uh, uh do you have any stipulated time frame or uh, yes you have to make in two days in two days yes you have to make a documentary in two days in two days but uh, ma'am i would like to say that can you request that uh, it cannot be produced just within two days it yes. is urgent sir so you have to make in two days no no urgent because ma'am all of you understand mm -hmm. and i want to make them also understand that uh, i need to have a deep seated research mm -hmm. uh, if you are saying about jalia wala bag then i need to have the audio clip of uh, audio clip up i yes, mean so yes. many uh, i mean indian freedom fighters yes sir. lala lajpat rai was there dr yes. kichlu was there and yes. uh, and i think that their audio bites are also there yes. and available with the all india radio i think you have to go to archives so, also so i have to go to the all india radio, radio archive yeah. also i have to go to the delhi public library yes library is very good so i have to go and at least it takes two days two to three days for a research oh after that only it will be possible yes i know but uh, so can so, you, so can you request them to at least give me uh, four to five days okay so you can have five days for this mm -hmm. because you have as you mentioned you have to do research yeah and after that you will write script and after that you will add some music and sound effects also so 
I I can understand your problem. So uh, you can take five days. Yes, at least five days because uh, mm. at the same time one thing more, ma'am, mm. and that is there. You know that uh, uh, also I have to find out what kind of I mean the pattern of the music. Music was yes. the, was prevalent on that time. Right. I cannot simply use the guitar or the drum. You know, so mm. I must go to the details of what kind of the instruments. What kind of the as you are mentioning about the jaliya wala baad, mm -hmm. so I cannot use the AK forty seven. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. So what should be used that uh, I must go through or we must go through the detail that uh, what um, kind of music, what kind of the gun, what, what kind of the, the music, sound of, yes. yeah, and the sound effects. So and I and I and as I know during that time it was three not three. Three not three. So that uh, gun sound I need to have. Yes. Right. So at least give me five days. At least sure, give me sure. five days. Allowed. Allowed. Okay. Thank you very much. So this is. what the documentary is it cannot be easily produced my dear friends we have to go to a deep seated research after research you need to write a script and uh, the modality of the presentation is mainly male and female voices yes male and female voices and uh, uh, both are the anchors they do mention a particular situation and uh, they go forth it is supported by the sound effect and the music then it is the documentary it is based on the facts only so we cannot put a four to five drama artist in one documentary program hmm. because it is in based on facts so one male or female can be there hmm. but uh, not more than two or uh, three persons we cannot add uh, in the documentary at the same time uh, one more one more word comes and that is called the docu drama docu drama yes docu drama it is also the part of it is also the part of uh, the documentary documentary uh okay uh it is also the part of the documentary so documentary means if uh, it is a uh, monotony yes. so many people cannot afford to listen to you for a longer time only two are speaking and if the voice modulation is not good if the expression is not good if you are not speaking in the right way if the if the i must say the pronunciation is not up to the mark then no one is going to listen to you they will say okay about radio it is said my dear friend it it is switch offable medium right. switch offable means it can be switched off any time if there is not if there is no life in my heart if i cannot impart the life to others no one is going to listen to me within the fraction of second they can they can i must say change the channel okay so radio is a switch offable medium so if two are speaking and if it is the monotony they are not going to listen going to, to listen it listen anymore this. so uh to uh, i must say to avoid the monotony we use the drama docu drama docu drama that is, that is based on the facts and fiction book hmm. documentary is based on the uh, facts only huh. but docu drama based on the fiction and with facts huh. uh like on uh, on docu hmm. or docu drama what happens like if i mention about an yes. incident hmm. then the same factual incident will be actually presented Present. to will be presented to uh, the i mean audience by the drama by the modulation of the drama like uh, if i talk about the jaliya wala bag okay like if i am saying that was the day of the baisakhi my dear friend and so many so many people the crowd was moving towards the jaliya wala bag and the entire jaliya wala bag was packed entire jaliya wala bag and people were so uh, anxious uh, they were so excited to listen to the i mean messages by their uh, esteemed leaders Lala Rajput Rai was there, and so many people were there. And slowly, slowly, the entire Jaliya Wala Bag was packed. But one thing, to your surprise, I would like to mention that. Do you know, my dear friends, that this Jaliya Wala Bag had only one door, had only one door. And all of a sudden, something happens. Like as an anchor, I said like this. Then immediately we move into the drama. Drama, yes. We move into the drama. Then someone will be there saying. Like Lajar, uh, like Lala Lajput Rai, he will say, "My dear friends, we have to attain the freedom at any cost, and we and we need to struggle." Like the message is going on, uh, the I mean, say uh, the message is going on, and and the people are listening, and at the same time, the sound effect comes. Yes. Like the marching boots of the army, they are coming and they are marching, and the general dire is there. How dare do? How dare they gather here? i have already issued the order that no one must assemble together but yet they have done i will i will give them i will teach them a good lesson oh then i am talking to the army men soldiers be ready right now just wait for my order and they are waiting for the order okay and then the drama goes and one of the soldier will say yes sir okay so the it is fact basically it is fact but it is being presented in in a drama manner in a drama manner so that the people can listen to it and a uh, greater kind of the interest 
can be yielded, right? So then I will say fire. Then the firing is there. Sound effect is there. Sound effect like uh, the I mean AK-47, the um, army boots at the same time the crying and the hue and cry of the people yes. and people dying and people crying and the death cry. So many things are there. So the impact will be very strong. Right. And then the again the narrator will come, and then he will say, and then he will say. So friends, this was what happened on that day in Jallianwala Bagh. So many people ran and they jumped on that well. Only there was one well in Jallianwala Bagh also. So many people tried to uh, try to save themselves and they ran and they saw that well. And so many people jumped on that well. And it was a massacre. It was a massacre. And then what will come, my dear friends? Then it will come a very uh, serious music, a sad music, supported by supported by the sound effect. Then again the narrator will come. So this is what the docudrama. docudrama. So document, documentary and docudrama both are one, but both are uh, based on the facts, facts only. Both are based on the facts only. We move to the next now. Right. Uh, here uh, you can have the detail of this. What is radio documentary about the docudrama also we have mentioned. Yes. So it is there. So mm -hmm. now we are going to the next. So the, uh, we uh, have yet heard about two formats. Format number one is documentary. Documentary. Format number two is docudrama. Docudrama. Now this is format number three. This is a radio magazine. And this is a radio magazine. What is a radio magazine? About this we are going to uh, have, uh, I mean, certain ideas. What is a radio magazine? At, as you can say, as you can see here on the slide, that a book is opened. Yes. And so many pages are there. Right. Achha, pages are basically the keywords to understand this. Okay. So pages are the main things. Okay. Now we come to the one more drama. We are going to that. Uh, suppose, what do you mean by a magazine? Uh, suppose this is the, uh, uh, suppose this is what? Uh, Assume as if it is the magazine of a school. Okay. Yes. So I am going to uh, this uh, magazine has come and uh, very freshly printed. So let me smell it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good. It's good. Uh, that was my habit, my dear friends. When the when I used to have the new books, na, uh, when mm -hmm. I was just a student, I I used to smell them. So it is the school magazine. Oh wow. What is here on the first page? Wonderful cover page. Wonderful cover page, and yes, uh, you can see here. as hmm. as we can see here that it is a school building. Okay. Yes, right. Very nice, very nice. But uh, school building we see every day. Right. Okay. Hmm. Let us go to the next page. So when we go to the next page, when we go to the next page, uh, what is here? Here is an editorial. Editorial. Okay. Let me read it. Uh, okay. High sounding words are there. Okay. Hmm. Uh, we are students, na. Hmm. But uh, he wrote so well. Hmm. Our principal, sir, he writes so well. Okay, good, good, good. Very good article. So, hmm. page number two is the editorial. Yes. Now let us move to page number three. What is here, uh, wow. Bimlesh? It's a wonderful story. A wonderful story and uh, hmm. good. Oh, it was written by Neetu, na. Yes. On that day, we asked her now what that what she was writing. She uh, she did not tell us. Yes. Yes. Right. So this was the story she was writing, isn't it? Yes. Right, right, right. So this is the story. Okay. Story. As we move to the next page, we see here it is a story. story. Uh, so now let us go to the next. What is here? Oh, it's a poem. It's a poem. A wonderful poem. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Wonderful poem yes. by Robert Frost. Hmm. Very good. So uh, now let us come to the next page. What is here? Here is a cartoon. Ah, here is a cartoon. Wow. Oh, wonderful. It is wonderful. So, friends, it is a magazine. Okay, assume that it is a school magazine. And what did you notice? What did you notice? As you continue to turn on the pages, you saw the variety. Variety. Variety of content. You saw the variety of the content. Uh, at page one, we uh, we saw the editorial. Yes. After that, we saw a, a story. It then, can be a song, it, it can be a poem, Yeah. it can be a sports, about the sports. About anything. Hmm. That means, magazine means the variety. Variety. As you, as you continue to turn the pages, to turn on the pages, you see the variety. Variety. You see, you see the variety. So it is about a magazine. So what about the radio magazine? What about the radio magazine? That means a program, which is the combination of so many varieties. Yes. Which is the combination of a drama, 
uh, which is the combination of uh, a music mean, program music program which is the combination of a story or anything else yes. anything else so a radio magazine is the combination of many different formats, formats different formats like i can say uh, uh friends we welcome to you in uh, our regular broadcast and it is the cit and cit broadcast and we are talking from the we are talking from the cit and cit new delhi studio and thank you very much friends that you continue to listen to our program because our our programs we believe are really very motivating yes. very inspiring along with me my my colleague vimlesh is right now here so we are going to talk to you but before you uh, but before we uh, we come to you with certain varieties let me tell you one thing very specific uh, today we have the variety of our program so first of all we are going to listen to a wonderful recital by ludwig von beethoven do you know about beethoven he was a wonderful musician, musician a wonderful composer so listen to his recital and hold on to your breath immediately after that there will there will be something else which is not a music at all but there will be something else so we have so much more in our store uh, but uh, you shall come to know only what is in our store only if you continue to, to listen. listen to us so hold on to your breath and thank you very much for listening and hope that you are driving right now going to your offices and enjoy our program so now we continue with the music recital by ludwig von beethoven listen to it so my dear friends then the music will go then immediately after the music is uh, music is over then again the i mean narrator will come so hope my dear friends that you have enjoyed you have enjoyed the music recital now uh, we are going to make you listen to a voice a voice and voice of a very popular person but i am not going to tell you who he is or who she is so i am going to play it back i am going to play it back and you have to recognize who this person is who this personality is and this personality is a very towering personality i hope that all of you uh, know uh, that person and also recognize his voice so i am going to play it back to you listen to this then the audio clip will be there okay audio clip will be there and uh, at the same time i will say that when you listen to this simply do one thing if you are not driving yes. if you are not driving you can simply send us the message that who is this person so that uh, uh, we may also enjoy that you are enjoying our program so thank you very much so my dear friends as you have seen in the beginning uh, we came with the music recital music then we are coming with a voice which i gave the option to the to our listeners to recognize who is that voice it can be continued with the same it with can be con ha, it can be continued with the song also then i will say that friends now because you have recognized this voice and uh, i am so amazed you know i am i am really amazed that uh, you have such a that you have such a sharp memory and you recognize that person okay he was ms dhoni yes right so now we are going to have a wonderful song listen to this song so as you can see that the variety is there okay variety is there fine so radio magazine is something which is the variety mm -hmm. it is a combination of so many, so many formats. of so many formats the music format the drama format the interview format yes. or anything or anything i mean else. anything else so this is music format okay now let us go to the next and then also we have to uh, we have to cover a very important uh, part that is the creative writing so after that yeah and as you can say it is a song it is a drama it can be an interview it can be a poem it can be a story it can be instrumental it can be a talk it can be a panel discussion also and so on so as you <clears throat> see that uh, the, is there. the keyword is variety yes right so let us move on to the next format and the next format is next it is a feature next slide huh. it is the next and it is a feature so first format that we covered uh, was the documentary, documentary. Okay. second was the docu drama third was the radio magazine, magazine radio magazine and this is the fourth one this is the radio, radio feature. feature what do you mean by a feature that uh, that we must understand now what do we mean by this okay uh, let us go to the content right what do you mean by a feature feature means as we uh, uh, when we talk about a person or when we think of a person a kind of the feature uh, yes. the feature of that person comes to us like the uh, fair complexion yes. the eyes the nose anything else anything else so it comes to us like that that the features are very sharp okay yes. the features are very good feature means 
out of so many attributes or out of so many qualities, one quality is highlighted. highlighted yes. It means this. Feature means, once again, I will repeat, out of so many attributes or the qualities, one quality, if one quality is highlighted, highlighted. that is feature. That is feature. Like about Gandhiji, we can say that he was a multifaceted personality. Yes. Multifaceted. That means he was very talented. And do you know, my dear friends, that he used to write by both the hands. And one day I was reading that uh, he used to write by right hands. And when he, he would feel that he is tired, he will continue to write with the left hand. And interestingly, there was no change in the handwriting. Right. So that is one of the feature. One of the feature. Okay. So now we are going to uh, now we are going to a greater detail of this. What is a feature? That means out of so many qualities, if one quality is highlighted, highlighted that, that is, is feature. that is feature. So now let us have an example. Uh, we have a wonderful book by NCRT, and uh, uh, the name of this book is uh, Bahurup Gandhi, yes. multifaceted Gandhi. So, so many, I mean, qualities of his personalities are actually dealt with separately. Right. Like quality number one is Gandhi as a saint. Chapter Gandhi one. Gandhi as a writer. Chapter two, Gandhi ji as a writer. Chapter three. Gandhi ji as an auctioneer. As the auctioneer. Oh, that sounds very peculiar. Hmm. Uh, auctioneer and Gandhi ji. Yes. How it comes? Gandhi ji as a saint, I understand. Yes. Gandhi ji as a writer, I understand. Yes. Gandhi ji as a freedom uh, fighter, writer. I understand. Yes. Okay, but Gandhi ji as a Auctioneer. Auctioneer. What do you mean? What do you mean by this? So, out of so many things, my dear friends, if you go to internet, about the qualities of Gandhiji, so many people, a, entire world knows that he was a freedom fighter. fighter okay. Yes. Entire world knows that he was a, a saint, writer. a writer, and he was a freedom fighter. But very few are there who really know it that he was an auctioneer, auctioneer. also. What do you mean by the auctioneer? So, out of so many attributes or the quality, now we are going to highlight this particular, this particular attribute Aspect. or the quality of his personality. And that is the auctioneer. auctioneer. Yes. So what do you mean by this? Okay, so let us have again a very small drama. Okay, I hope that you are enjoying uh, uh, <coughs> our drama, you know. So now we are going to, uh, now we are going to explain it, what it means. What we are talking about, the feature. Feature. Gandhi ji was a multifaceted person, multifaceted personality. And out of so many things, we have just picked up one thing, and that is Gandhi ji as an auctioneer. So we are going to start the program. Okay, ready? We are going to start the program. Uh, huh. One comment has come. Yes, sir, we are enjoying. Thank you very much. And uh, do not be hesitant to... Uh, do not be hesitant to comment uh, on the program so that we also may feel that we are also being elevated. Mm -hmm. We are also being encouraged. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Enjoying mm -hmm. uh, good messages and uh, it really uh, adds an extra flavor to our enthusiasm, right. right? So we are going to have this. So Vimlesh, you spoke one word, Gandhiji as an? Auctioneer. Auctioneer, okay. Lively session, thank you very much. Now we are getting it. Thank you very much. You can you can continue to you can continue to comment uh, so that we also know. Yeah. Achha, now we are going to the next. So friends, here comes a feature on Mahatma Gandhi, and the title of this feature is Gandhi ji as an auctioneer. Gandhi ji as an auctioneer. Now here begins the program. Friends, it was a big ground in Bombay. Yes. Sir, you have created real classroom situation. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so <clears throat> like this. Okay, fine. It was a very big ground in Bombay. Bombay, which is now called Mumbai. 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 And Gandhiji was there. When people came to know that Gandhiji is coming, Gandhiji is coming, they were so excited. And uh, the crowd started moving to the ground. You shall be surprised to know that even the crowd from Ahmedabad, from the remote part of the Gujarat, yes. so many people came there. They wanted to listen to the voice of the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. And Mahatma Gandhi was there on the stage and he was talking to the people and he was talking about uh, the freedom struggle of India. The topic was, and the crowd was captivated. 
cell bound they were listening to the message i must say to some extent the sermon of mahatma gandhi and he was talking and he was seeking the cooperation from the people of uh, i mean from the i mean citizens of india and he was talking to them like this so friends we have to go we have to fight for the freedom of our country my dear friends you have seen that i have changed the tone of uh, uh, my voice voice before i do anything i must know that how our father of nation sounded like he was not having a very uh, deep very tone bassy voice yeah. he was not having this a kind of the voice that he had was a bit uh, uh, on the upper side we can say uh, on the highs and to some extent shrill also yes not very attractive voice okay but i would like to say one thing something which sounds not attractive it captivated the entire nation, nation. isn't it so never be of this opinion that my voice is not good i'm not going to speak the things are so difficult and uh, uh, my voice is not bassy my modulations are not good never think like that everything has an importance mm. every voice has i must say every voice has a significance yes let me go to the story again so gandhi ji is speaking friends we have to fight against the against the colonial rule i seek i seek side 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 please side i want to meet bapu ji who is there who is there side please i want to meet bapu ji let him come let her come let her come don't stop her don't stop her don't please, stop her please. let her come let her come okay right uh, uh what for you have come bapu ji i have just one lemon with me what did you say just one one lemon one lemon from my garden not oh, just one lemon yes i want to give this for freedom struggle of india stop here uh, we will uh, record the sound of the mockery if you people are doing mm -hmm. the mockery one lemon what will it do what will it do for the i mean freedom struggle of india so many people are coming here okay i am now rolling on on behalf of the other people those yes. who are uh, making a making a fun of this yes one lemon yeah just one lemon what will it do <laughs> i am also thinking what will it do so many rich people are here you know they are giving the money and so many things one lemon bapu ji please accept it at the same time gandhi ji says gandhi ji says stop ha ah, what were you saying please accept it this is lemon where from i mean did you bring it i took it from my garden sir acha from my garden just one lemon just one lemon hmm do not make the fun of her she has contributed a wonderful thing a wonderful thing for uh, the cause of the freedom struggle of this country just one lemon <laughs> what she will do with one, one lemon one lemon one lemon will work one lemon will work no one should make a ridicule no one should make a fun of it but right now i must say my dear friends this lemon is going to do the wonders now gandhi ji is now ki gandhi ji is talking so um, my dear friends as we see that so many rich people are there around so many rich people are there around and i respect them i respect them that they also contributed a lot uh, our treasurer came and he told that one uh, one uh, uh, rich person one industrialist of this town uh, he contributed 2000 rupees 2000 rupees uh well thank you very much but at the same time let us see that uh, a, a sacrificial giving let us see that something which seems very simple how wonder it can make how wonder main thing is the sincerity of the heart she came she did not hesitate at all and she said she could have avoided that where so many rich people are there my dear friends so many rich people are there how should i come but she came and she said that i have only one piece of lemon which she brought her from my garden from her garden now let us see so uh let us see what this uh, simple piece of uh, what this uh, lemon can do okay so now i am going to auction it babu ji i will give 500 rupees ha huh. at the same time i am re requesting the participants also to uh, give the bet okay also you can say also you can say uh Okay, one hundred one, one hundred one, one hundred one, one hundred one. Give five hundred. 
1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1
and he was uh, saying something the informations were very good but we did not uh, say that record it right now yes we requested him to prepare a draft draft to uh, i mean prepare a content for this and then when he will come with the along with the content then we will sit together again we will see yes what is to be said what is not to, not be, to said. be said and then we will go live on the talk on the talk then we will go live on the program so yes. this so is a talk so is also required before presenting a program before presenting a talk because uh, we cannot uh, close her or his mouth at the time of presenting hmm. so uh, script is uh, script uh, will be uh, should be ready with uh, his or her right. and the rehearsal is required rehearsal is required so this is a radio talk radio talk means when we talk to uh, when we talk on a specific subject yes. it can be the uh, topic like the environment it can be the topic like the pollution you can invite anyone and uh, you can invite anyone and uh, you can request them to deliver a talk on this but it is before this the prerequisites are a good preparation should be there yes. and there must be a script along with that because as you have said rightly said we cannot catch their mouth, mouth at yes. the time when they are saying anything mm. because it is going live on live. the air so one more very safe uh, uh, method is that before going on air better record it yes. and then broadcast it and then you can say that we are going to listen to a talk by shanu muksim who is our technical expert like yes. this you can say right? right so we are going to the last the last format and then uh, of course about the uh, creative writing mm -hmm. abhi session chal rahe hello uh, now this is vox populi uh, this is uh, one of the very popular format and as uh, nowadays we see that that the election time is going on yes actually the journalists or the i mean producers are going uh, to the masses they are talking to them they are gathering their opinion, opinion it is yes. a kind of gathering the public opinion yes it is a kind of we can say it is taking the consensus of the people the opinion of the people opinion isn't it people, yes. so vox populi so uh, vimlesh uh, what do you mean by vox a vox matlab voice vox hmm? populi means voice of the people and uh, uh, i mean is it uh, spanish it is french okay. it is french yes mm. it is a french word okay yes <laughs> <laughs> it is a french word mm. uh, it was again a very small drama you know mm. uh, just to put some extra i mean flavor mm. on that right <laughs> so it is a french word and the french word vox populi means voice of, voice the, people. of the people so if the election time is there uh, so many people you must have seen nowadays the elections are going on in so many states so people do go the producers do go uh, with the, their microphones uh, assume it is a microphone okay it is a mouse right now but yet it is a microphone and i am asking so the election uh, elections are on nowadays what do you think about the uh, price hike okay mm -hmm. सर क्या बताएं महंगाई तो बहुत ज्यादा हाई है आजकल बहुत ही डेली मतलब आजकल तो डेली नीड्स की चीजें भी बहुत ही कॉस्टली आ रही हैं तो मैं तो यही एक्सपेक्ट करती हूं कि इस बार जो भी नया हो जो भी नई सरकार हो तो थोड़ी महंगाई पे जरूर काम करे अच्छा महंगाई पर काम करे पे जरूर काम करे जिससे कि हम हम जैसे लोग हैं वो थोड़ा सा अच्छे से सरवाइव कर पाए थैंक यू फॉर योर ओपिनियन व्हाट अबाउट द आई मीन पेट्रोल प्राइसेस व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट इट what is your opinion sir as you are uh, i mean a professional driver uh, sir i think this petrol price is going so high and uh, huh? uh, we are not we are uh, we are not able to survive, survive survive because of this thing right right and this food because of this every everything's price is increasing okay okay so i think government has to do something about it okay okay thank you very much for your opinion and uh, I would like to tell both of you that I took your interview, and uh, you are going to listen to your interview on our live broadcast. Yes. When we are going to present, possibly uh, it will come tomorrow at six o'clock in the evening, so you can listen to your own voice. So this is the voice of the public. This yes. is the voice of the people. Janta so, ki awaaz. Janta ki awaaz. Ye janmat hai, na? Janmat. Janta apna mat de rahi hai ki kya hai. So isko hum karte hain vox populi. So that is one of the uh, that is also one of the very popular formats of uh, the radio programs so we are now going to our uh, uh, last portion uh, we are going to the last portion of our uh, next stage of our topic and we are going now to the creative writing uh, this is also very interesting for you this is also going to be very interesting for you so on that we are going right now and uh, the next slide just wait for a while 
uh, in between you can uh, right now send your your comments how are you feeling about uh, this presentation about the program that can also that can also be a kind of the evolution for us we shall be happy yes. to have your opinion so we are now going to have this and uh, the topic is right now it is creative writing what is a creative writing uh, let me to shine Share. Share. No. Just wait. Just wait. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, so uh, the topic is creative writing. Uh, what do you see here, Vimesh? And uh, what all of you can see here? It's a very, I must say, the symbolic uh, image. Mm -hmm. And uh, by understanding this, I hope that uh, you need not to be explained so much. Simply this uh, particular image speaks so much about the creative writing. What do you see here? So I can see here is a pencil. A pencil, right? That is connected with the electric bulb. That is connected with the bulb. Yes. And, and uh, I think pencil represents writing. It represents writing. And uh, light of bulb represents knowledge. Knowledge. Yes, of course. So the creative writing is something what we can say that which can create something. Yes. Which can create something which can actually produce the light, yes. which can eliminate the darkness of the ignorance and of so many things of the superstitions or maybe I must say the ignorance is the right word. Ignorance is the right word. So that is basically the creative writing. So creative writing means, do you know that the word, the word has a power? The word has an energy. If I am not energetic, you are not going to be imparted the energy. The way I speak, that is very important. The way you deliver is very important. Like uh, uh, we say one thing, you know, about the audio program, about the audio program, we say one thing in almost every session. Uh, I would like to repeat it again, that uh, uh, broadcasting or the radio is talking to a blind friend. Yes. We are talking to a blind friend. Blind friend. Why do I see so? Why do I say so that I'm talking to a blind friend? Why? As we cannot see you. As we cannot see, like uh, mm -hmm. right now, uh, if I'm on, on the broadcast, okay. The listeners cannot see me. I cannot see the listeners. Yes. So we are talking to a blind friend. Blind friend, and they are listening to a blind friend. Yes. We must also so add into that. Yes. Both are blind. <laughs> we are not saying uh, only our listeners mm -hmm. are blind. Mm -hmm. Tumko kuch nahi aata hai. We are we not are saying that. Blind. We are also blind. So radio is a very humble medium. Mm -hmm. When we accept that we both are blind, okay. Yes. But at the same time, at the same time, we have only one tool, and that tool is nothing but that tool is the microphone. Microphone. Okay. Microphone is here just uh, uh, it is a kind of the demo okay so microphone is there so someone has said very rightly that if you smile with the microphone the world is going to smile with you but if you cry with the microphone world is going to cry with you world is going to cry with you okay so if i smile like uh, look at the screen hello dosto hello friends how are you i am fine hope you are also fine then I'm switch offable, my dear friends. Then you are going to shunt me out very soon. That the one who is talking to us is not having life at all, how he can impart the life on us. But if I say like this, look at the screen again. Good morning, friends. Thank you very much uh, for your presence. Thank you very much that uh, you have tuned us. And uh, we hope that we are going to have a wonderful time. Yes. So thank you very much. And at the same time, when I say, if there is some very serious news, Friends, we welcome you to this broadcast. And we have a very serious news to share with you. Okay, right? So these are the modulations. The modulations are very important. So radio is a switch offable medium. Yes. When you smile along with your microphone, no one is seeing at you. No one is looking at you, but they shall understand that you are smiling because these are the, I must say, the mental transmissions. These are like this. So we are, go we are going to the topic again. Now, it's going to be very interesting for all of you. Of course, uh, the next slide. Right. So, uh, what is the uh, symptom? 
let us now make a diagnosis. Okay, mm -hmm. what is the symptom of a creative writing? Mm -hmm. Symptom number one, what is this? For creative writing, there should be a flow in the language. Uh, there should be a flow. It yes. should not be intermittent. intermittent. Yes. Now yes. flowing and now not flowing. <laughs> not like this. Yes. It must have... A, there it is, should be a flow. And there is a wonderful word that is mm -hmm. called the lucidity. Yes. The continuity. Okay. Continuity. So there has to be a flow and it is not inter, intermittent yes. at all. Yes. And it should not be... If the flow seems felt or unbreakable, hmm. it is creative writing. It is creative writing. So these are uh, certain layers of the uh, for writing certain letters writing. for doing the creative writing. Yes. Number one, you need to have an interest. Interest. Without interest, you cannot do anything. Yes. Number two, we see that we need to explore something. After interest, uh, we will uh, find out. Uh, we will explore the things of but, our interest or our listeners' interest. So first of all, interest should be there. After that exploration, you will do explore the things. But uh, uh, what do, do we mean by exploration? What to explore? Uh, what to explore? Like, uh, if I want to write something on, uh, maybe, uh, if I want to write something on, maybe the, I mean, pollution. Yes. Okay. Right. Mm. So what to explore? You will explore. You I will, will go to internet. internet then. You will see many programs on pollution. Right. Right. Many and programs yes. on pollution. Okay. Uh, you will read about the pollution. That means so many yes. people have done on this. Al already done. Hmm. So you have to explore what they do not have done. What is not yet explored. Yet explored. Yes. That we have to see. That is the ex that is the exploration. That exploration. is very important. Hmm. So we say it like this. Write hmm. in a way no one has written. Yes. Think in a way no one has. Think. Huh? No one has thought of. Yes. At the same time, one thing more, that think in a way that no one has thought of, write in a way no one has written, okay. explore something which is yet unexplored. Yes. That is very important. Mm -hmm. So that is the exploration. Now coming back to the slide, coming back to the slide again. Uh, so then after, the, after then the, the innovation, innovation will come. Innovation means yes. any present in a way no one has presented, presented. right? Yes. Use the sound effect as uh, no one has given yet. Yes. Okay, something else. Otherwise, what are you Yes. You have to do something yes. new. Haan, something new. Otherwise, they will say it is a stereotype. Yes. No, it's not a bore. No, it's not a So, think in a way no one has thought of. Produce the program in a way no, no, no one has yet produced. produced. Mm -hmm. Write in a way no one has yet written. written. Right? So, that is the exploration. And then we come to the last. And the last is the creative writing. Then, then it is the creative writing. Okay, fine. So now we are going to some very interesting. Uh, yes, we have time. We have time right now, at least 25 minutes. So uh, uh, we have 10 minutes right now. We have 10 minutes. So we are going to cover this. Yes, do come. So this is the key slogan. Yes. Will you raise this slogan? What is the key slogan? Writing for radio is the writing for the ears. Yes, writing for radio is writing for the ears. Yes. Mm -hmm. Writing for television is writing for the eyes, eyes. as well as mm -hmm. also for the ear. Mm -hmm. But ears are uh, less dominant. Yes. Eyes are more important. But when you write for the radio, you must remember this, that writing for you radio writing is... For the radio. Uh, you are ears. writing for the ears. Okay, right. So now mm -hmm. we go to the next. Uh, very important. Uh -huh. uh, now, uh, next, next, next. Uh, here you can see, uh, just if you come back, just come back. Thus, you have to use such words and frame and frame such sentence which accommodate the variables of sound, Yes. which is called the onomatopoeia. Uh, that's a very important word. All of, you are, all of you are the teachers and I hope that all of you understand this. Onomatopoeia in Hindi is called the Dhvani Alankar. Yes. That means I must... Uh, my, uh, what should I say in a very new way? I, I would like to say it in a very creative way. My writing must sound. Yes. Yeah, nah? My writing, writing must sound. sound huh? yes. That's very important. So, onomatopoeia. So, when you write for the radio, when you write for the radio, uh, it's very important. It's very important that... You are writing for the ears. And write in a way so that you can accommodate the maximum possibilities of using the sound. Sounds. That's very important. The maximum, I mean, possibilities. So let us come to some of the example of onomatopoeia. And uh, now we see, like, uh, you can see two columns here. Right. One is the informative. Second one is creative. Second one is the creative. So uh, informative means every informations are there. Yes. There is no any dearth of information. The, the statement is correct. Yes. But how to write that creatively? It is one of the examples. Okay. Yes. So, so which I one will you write? Uh, I will, will like read, read informative writing. Informative writing. Okay. 
so we can say life is very busy and we haven't time okay okay uh, rightly said rightly mm-hmm. said but uh, uh, it's mm-hmm. a very what should i say but uh, it's commonly spoken you know yes. it's very common sentence life is very busy and we have no time yes there is uh, i can see that uh, there is no a kind of the spark you know spark spark right. is required here so i would like to say it in this way now follow the slide and uh, it comes to sentence number 1 uh once again you will say this life is life is very busy and we haven't time but i would like to say it dinesh like this what is life is full of care we have no time even to stand and stare like this i will say okay mm-hmm. life is very busy but we haven't time okay okay but when you if you creatively express this yes you can speak like this acha one thing more now mm-hmm. come to point number 2 thank you for coming no okay thank you <laughs> okay thank you very much but i'm not very exciting okay yes. thank you for coming okay but uh, if i say it like this why don't you read this thank you for the compliment of your visit ah, 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 by visiting my home you have complimented me yes. na, the feeling is like that okay thank you for the compliment of your visit hmm. the visitor will also be very excited, excited you know that yes. the way uh, he is being appreciated hmm. thank you for coming it seems very formal yes. but when we say thank you for the compliment of your visit he will feel what a wonderful compliment that yes. he delivered to me hmm. okay so it is a creative expression it is a creative expression one thing more okay now come to point number 3 and uh, it's also very good hmm. very good i must say it's very good yes. it, it, it's informative right it has come forest was beautiful forest was beautiful and i wanted to stay but had some work so could not stay <laughs> okay <laughs> okay thank you very much ha huh? yes i also had been to mm-hmm. forest and i also could not sit and stay you know uh, so it is one of the way and the yes. second way to express it these are very famous lines by robert frost woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and miles to go never say miles to go otherwise it is just uh, two or two or three or 10 steps mm-hmm. not more than that miles okay miles woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep and uh, miles to go miles to go before i, I sleep okay so this is the creative expression yes it is the creative writing okay so now we are coming to the next, next uh, is in- i hope that all of you are going to enjoy it yes in quarrels try to keep quiet na ah, it it sounds like a sermon okay <laughs> जब जब झगड़ा होता है तो चुप रहो है ना हिंदी में ये बोलेंगे उस समय चुप रहो इन क्वारल्स ट्राई टू कीप क्वाइट बट वी कैन से इट वेरी एक्सप्रेसिवली वेरी क्रिएटिवली वेरी फिलोसॉफिकली एंड वी कैन से यू मस्ट नो टू स्पीक साइलेंस व्हाइल क्वारलिंग यस ओके सो द साइलेंस कैन आल्सो बी स्पोकन इजंट इट शानू साइलेंस कैन आल्सो बी स्पोकन खामोशी में भी आवाज होती है राइट खामोशी ज्यादा पावरफुल होती है एक्सप्रेस करने के बहुत बार हम बोलते हैं तो शायद वो कम्युनिकेट नहीं कर पाते जो करना चाहिए बट देर इज अउंड ऑफ साइलेंस अ वंडरफुल सॉन्ग बाय जॉन डेनवर ओके साउंड ऑफ साइलेंस हेलो डार्कनेस माय ओल्ड फ्रेंड आई हैव कम टू टॉक टू यू अगेन एंड आई एम सीइंग द साउंड ऑफ द साइलेंस अ वंडरफुल सॉन्ग uh and then the last one but last not one. the least one right last one is writing for radio is a skill writing for radio is a skill good good hmm. but i would like to say it in this way you know <laughs> i would like to say in this way and uh, i would like to say writing for radio is writing visually for the ears yes isn't it nice nice very beautiful nice yes, anu isn't it nice yeah it's beautiful writing for radio is writing visually for the ears ah ha ha is <laughs> writing visually for the ears okay yes. so that is the creative expression that is the creative writing now let us go to some more aspects ha huh. and here we see that the example of onomatopoeia when you write for the radio my dear friends you need to take care of all these aspects very importantly yes. these are very important like simple expressions uh simple expression uh, co- i mean column 2 is the example how to write for the radio radio hmm. and column 1 is in uh, is the example how not to write for the radio <laughs> right right so column 1 is what example how how to write how not, not to, to write, write for, for the radio, radio. okay hmm. and column number 2 is how to write for how to write for the radio right hmm. so now we will come hmm. okay so uh first i will read okay uh, fine the cup fell from the table okay the cup from the table but if i want to put some element of onomatopoeia in this mm-hmm. or if i would like to add some uh, elements of sound in this i will say it again you read it the cup fell from the table and i will say the cup fell the cup fell from the table and broke yes and broke so you have scope here to put sound effects here okay. of broken cup 
of the broken cup. Okay, Acha. Uh, point two now. There were birds on the tree. Uh, there were birds on the tree, and I would like to say it: the birds chirped on the tree. Mm. So here I have the uh, sufficient scope to add chirping of the the chirping birds. the chirping sounds of the bird on my on my writing. Okay, yes. or on my sentence. Number three. Mozart was a great musician. Ha, and I would like to say it. Mozart was a great musician and mm. maestro of the piano. Piano. It uh, uh, it gives an extra explanation about the Mozart. Mozart. As it was said, he was a great musician. Uh, it can also be a violin. It can be a guitar. It guitar can be anything else. Yes. But here we say right. that he was a pianist. Okay, right? Yeah. So now we are now we are coming to the last slide, and I hope that we are going to enjoy it once again, much more. Right? Uh huh. Go to next. Go to next. Again, next, next. Okay. Next, right. Now, friends, just we would like to have your four to five minutes, and we are going to uh, conclude our session. So these are six uh, main points which we have to take care of when we write for the radio. Radio. So what is point number one? What do you think, Vimdesh? Uh, for the language uh, writing radio, when we are writing for the radio. The language must be as simple as possible. As simple as possible. The yes. example can be the radio jockey. Radio jockey. Okay. Yes. The way they speak, that mm. is a very lucid language. Mm. That's a language having the flow. You know, mm. uh, their language is not. Uh, I I must say. I mean. Uh, I must say. Actually, in interrupted. Okay. Interrupted, so yes. there must be a flow. flow. There yes. must be flow. Point number two can be. It can be a avoid formation of long sentences. Yes, long mm. sentences because. Because we are writing for the radio. So listeners may forget what you were saying. Mm. So try to keep as short as possible. Try to keep as simple as possible also, and try to write spoken language in your uh, in for your radio program. Do not uh, uh, do not write bookish language. Yes, bookish language yeah. because there is a difference between the bookish language and the spoken language. Spoken language. Yes. Okay. Mm. So try to use the spoken language. Yes. And uh, also try to understand the level of the audience. Audience. Yes. Who is your target audience actually? Huh. Who, for whom you are writing yes for program. whom you are writing hmm. right and it is very important like uh, avoid the greed to show use, your vocabulary ha huh, show your vocabulary yes. it is sometimes the greed you know we have the greed we have the greed that uh, now i have been given the opportunity you know i would like to show them how much i know and then i keep on vomiting on the paper okay yes. hmm. uh, so vomiting of the high sounding words maybe i will feel uh, i will feel very good that yes. see how much do i know Okay, but it has of no value for the listeners. Yes. So we should avoid the high-sounding words. The I must say the I mean difficult words, the words which are already in the psyche of the listeners. Those words should be used. We should uh, write according to our target audience. Huh. We are writing for primary classes, so we should not hmm. give high-sounding words. Hmm. High-sounding words, hmm. and uh, we must try to avoid as much as possible, well, yes, as much as possible, yes. uh, the high-sounding words. So. We are coming to the last now, and uh, the last point that is very important. You would mm -hmm. like to come here, okay? So try to avoid the greed. Uh, you know, uh, I I would like to conclude with the one uh, wonderful. Uh, I should not say a story, but uh, but a kind of the style. Uh, do you know in Africa when they catch the monkey, when they catch the monkey, uh, like we would use the net, okay? Or we may use some other. Uh, I mean, may just to catch the monkey, but in Africa they do one thing. Uh, they take. Uh, Please show the last slide again. Acha, last slide again. Isko thoda dabar. Upar kar do na upar. Upar liye, right. So these are six main points which we have to take care of while we write for the radio. Okay. So shall we conclude? Shall we conclude? So they used to have a, I mean, coconut shell. Okay. And there was a hole, you know, like it is the coconut shell. Maybe it is a coconut shell. I am just giving the example. And the hole is. Just try to understand. It is a coconut shell, and the hole is so small that only the hand can go in. Okay, yes. only the hands can go in. But if I if I want to come out with my fists, okay, I cannot come out, right? So it is the shell. It is the coconut shell, and the hole is made there, 
and the hole is so small or the size of the hole is so that only hands can go but it cannot come out it cannot come out at all if i use my fist okay like this like this it can come out but like this it will not come out so what do they do in africa that they put some grams okay chana bol dijiye hai na grams wahi bolte hain yes ha so they put some grams inside and then inside the, the coconut inside the coconut shell okay mm -hmm. then the monkey looks at uh, from the tree wow okay they are putting some gram you know <laughs> wonderful so i must go there and the monkey goes and he enters his hand okay and he grabs the gram okay mm -hmm. but now when he would try to come out okay and actually people are watching the monkey very carefully now he has gone now he has put his hand inside the shell now very important okay now he took it in his fist like this and now he would like to make it out and then what will they do they will make sounds and the noises okay ho ho let us go and catch let us go and catch and the monkey wants to run away but because the greed is there greed is there he want to leave the grams okay which is there inside and just to save his life he could have done one thing he could have just freed his hand and he and he could have run away but he he could not do it why because of greed greed because of the greed and that's why he is mostly in most of the times the monkey is caught yes same thing happens when we write for the radio sometimes we have the greed of the high sounding words you know difficult words so that the world may know how intelligent i, I am the world may know that i am the reservoir of the words you know i am the dictionary yes sometimes we think like that but let me tell you let me tell you my dear friends it is not going to cut the ice anymore so thank you very much i am uh, reading this uh, i mean comment now the session was interesting thank you very much and uh, wonderful way of presentation okay. heads off okay uh, thank you very much so shrotao thodi der hindi mein bol le bahut der se angrezi mein bol rahe hain so thank you very much is samay aap sabho ka bahut bahut dhanyawad ki aapne hamare is karyakram ko suna is radio show ko aapne suna to hamare karyakram ka samay ab samapt hota hai to iske liye is samay ajit ko aur vimlesh ko aagya dijiye namaskar namaskar so friends thank you very much now it's the time to over our broadcast the time has now, now the time has come or rather i must say that time is not not actually permitting so allow us to say allow us to say the call of the day thank you very much you. and enjoy your time thank, thank you very you. much so i would just like to extend my heartfelt thanks to uh, vimlesh ma'am and ajit horo sir for such an engaging interactive and an interesting session i mean uh, we are going to uh, stop here for a 15 minutes tea break sir and ma'am you are requested to come outside 148 for the same and uh, before taking the pause i would just like to take i like to uh, ask you to take just 2 minutes if you scroll up you will see the train of messages that are pouring in for you appreciation feedback comments i mean the participants were so enthralled throughout the session it is so heartwarming to see it and i think uh, we, we were we managed to set the ground uh, for the session at the beginning itself and uh, i mean words fall short to actually appreciate the engagement that was here throughout the session so thank you so much ma'am and sir and dear participants don't be disheartened because this was just part one of the session and sir and ma'am will be back again after 15 minutes to take you through the demo session of the audio resource tool so i will take a pause here and we will meet after 15 minutes so we'll meet at 11:35 now it's 11:21 we will meet at 11:35 11:40 all right so